Alright, this is the all new Cutefish OS. Cutefish is an upcoming desktop environment that's going to be radically different from anything you have experienced till now. Stunning looks, modern design, and intuitiveness that's basically instinct drive the development of this new and premium interface. I've installed the beta version of Cutefish and the way it feels to use this interface has left me very impressed. The idea behind this project is to provide a high quality interface for Linux newcomers that is easy to navigate, equipped with all the tools needed for everyday usage, but leaves out the complex things which might overwhelm the users. Simplicity is the prime driver here. And I believe Cutefish is going to be noteworthy when it ultimately rolls out the stable release. So let's jump right in and take a look at what Cutefish will bring to your desktop in the near future. Ok, first impression, the desktop looks heavily inspired by macOS and there's no attempt to hide it. We get a similar theme and icon pack here. And in my opinion, that's completely fine. If a user interface has proved itself to be very intuitive and user friendly, taking inspiration from it, taking pointers from it will only enhance the user friendliness here. And that's what Cutefish has done to a degree. We get a polished bottom dock which is the central control element of this desktop. Almost everything is controlled from right here. The icons here are fully configurable as the user wants. Then we get a minimal panel at the top which has controls for volume, Wi-Fi and few other things in a sleek tray. I like the design of this tray. It's very contemporary and uncomplicated. The mostly empty panel features global menus for applications. The menu bar of running application appears in this top panel. This is something I really enjoyed in the old Unity desktop of Ubuntu. This is a huge space saver for screen real estate and makes the app feel very integrated and uniform. Then this system ships with a set of amazing wallpapers that look fantastic with this setup. All throughout, Cutefish looks very exquisite. The desktop is customizable with a dark theme and a variety of accent colors. In all the setups, there is uniformity across the system and all the apps. Even additionally installed ones look good here. Overall, in the looks department, I like what we get. The system has that touch of excellence. The theming, the icon pack choice, blur and gloss effect dynamics are all very well used in Cutefish. When you use this system, it does feel premium. Cutefish desktop is built using the Qt Quick framework and KDE Plasma 5. Right now, at the time of publishing of this video, Cutefish desktop is still in beta and while using it, it definitely feels so. Not visually but functionally. So disclaimer, this is not ready for general home or business usage, it's for testing purposes only. There is still a lot of ironing out needed. The super button does nothing at the moment while it should summon this application grid. The first entry is not auto highlighted when searching. Some work still needs to be done to make this desktop fully usable. Cutefish desktop development is going on very well and in the last 10 months itself, Cutefish has had massive leaps ahead. So the future is bright for Cutefish. Cutefish desktop also brings a set of homegrown applications. A calculator, a simple file manager, a glossy terminal that looks really fantastic with blur turned on and a few more things. But the settings app here deserves a special mention. Cutefish Desktop offers a very limited set of switches and options when compared to the original KDE Plasma Desktop. For most things, same defaults are selected and there is no option to change them. Only the very important things that matter mostly to Linux newcomers are provided in this settings app. This makes sure people new to Linux are not overwhelmed by the choice and control in Linux. Simplicity is the prime directive here. Not just the settings, Cutefish Desktop maintains simplicity everywhere. Everything here is very beginner friendly and easy to use. And that's the answer to the question, why another desktop environment? Why reinvent the wheel? We have some really amazing, feature rich and powerful desktop environments with exhaustive options. Cutefish is taking a different path. It wants to let the user navigate the system and get what he wants very quickly while avoiding those exhaustive options. Linux newcomers and beginners are the main target user base here. I highly appreciate something powerful like KD Plasma. I can also see how things like the settings there can be overwhelmingly complex for someone new to Linux. Obviously that's because KD Plasma is very powerful, advanced and configurable to a high degree. But the same things can make a user interface very complex for newcomers. 
Qt Fish will be something that efficiently solves this issue while still not compromising on functionality. Qt Fish is built using the latest Qt Quick framework. This should give us a very responsive system. Right now in this beta version, I'm getting very good system responsiveness in both the UI as well as Qt Fish applications. But I did notice some minor glitches in rendering here and there, which are quite common in beta releases. But I expect a fluid smooth performance in the stable release. On idle, my system uses around 800 MB of RAM with Qt Fish. This is very similar to what we see in KD Plasma Desktop. Performance wise, no complaints right now. It's a lightweight desktop and we can count on it being better than satisfactory in the final release. We do not get workspaces in Qt Fish Desktop. When I first switched to Linux, I didn't use workspaces for 3 4 years on any desktop environment. So in my opinion, that's not a deal breaker considering this desktop is for newcomers. Then there's no additional theme support. You cannot change the theme or the icon pack. But you do get customization options in the form of two themes and an array of accent colors. This again is in fact a better option for newcomers. And Cute Fish is so gorgeous that I didn't really consider changing anything anyway. And there are some other things missing by design or because Cute Fish is still in beta. But I'm still excited for the final vision of this desktop. As I said earlier, Cute Fish desktop is still a beta software. That means this is not yet ready for general usage. This is for testing purposes only. Cute Fish OS is a Debian based distro that lets you experience Cute Fish desktop. This OS is created by the developers of Cute Fish desktop themselves. You can download it from the link in the description. Again, Cute Fish is not yet ready for general usage, so I suggest you don't install this as your main daily driver. There's also a Manjaro spin that comes with Cute Fish desktop. It's very wrong to judge software in its beta form, but appreciating the vision and the manifestation of that vision into reality is something we ought to do. There's still a bit of time till Cute Fish hits stable, but it's happening in the near future and I'm excited for it. Mainly because Linux newcomers will get a gorgeous and simple interface. In my experience, Cute Fish will be the first Linux desktop interface where even the newest of new Linux users will not need to Google anything to get around Cute Fish or change some settings. I'm not saying other desktops are bad with user friendliness. Linux user interfaces have come a long way in that department and Cute Fish will be another step in that direction. I wish the best for Cute Fish development team. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also hit that like button. Next up, check out the number one ranked Linux distro in the world, MX Linux. That's it for today guys. This is Linux Techs, signing out.